hello there welcome back to my channel so today's video is a little bit unusual for me because it is going to be a splurge or save a video now i usually don't do these kinds of videos like dupe videos because i don't have dupes in my collection usually because you know i like to have just one of those products so for example if um, I know that one product is a dupe for the other I would only pick up one rather than having the dupe and the original as well if you know what I mean but somehow I came across five products that I think are dupes in my opinion and I am going to tell you whether you should splurge or save or whether you know either option is uh, perfectly fine because maybe you prefer drugstore products or maybe you prefer uh, high-end products it all depends on you but I will help you make that decision so if you're interested in seeing uh, my take on this sort of video then just keep on watching so I actually have a body care uh, dupes and um, yeah, I'm super excited about those. So I am going to start with the more expensive option and it is the Rituals uh, body creams in general. Not this one in particular, but in general. I have gone through dozens of these little guys because usually you would get them in like um, boxes. You know, they're a very frequent flyer in those. Um, but that doesn't take away the fact that they are really gorgeous they smell amazing the smell is very potent but not in the sense that it would you know irritate you um the actual consistency of them uh usually is very thick very moisturizing so if you suffer from flaky skin dry skin i think these would work very well uh, for that but they are on the expensive side a full size of these costs about 20 25 euros depends on where you get them and for me I would go through a small size like this in about four days and this size contains 70 mils the full size contains 300 mils so you can imagine I would probably go th through the full size in about two three weeks which is just not sustainable in my opinion so I did find a dupe for myself and the dupe are the Soap and Glory Body Butters. Now, it, it's more of an alternative rather than a dupe because number one, the consistency is so different. Uh, this one, the one that I have, the um, Color Fruity uh, scent is much more uh, airy, lighter compared to a body cream from Rituals, which is thicker and kind of actually resembles butter if you know what I mean whereas this one is more of a thicker lotion not as thick as a body butter but thicker than you know your typical lotion in like a pump um, but I find that they work in a very similar way they moisturize my skin to a point where in the morning I still feel that um, hydration on my skin when I wake up uh, also the smell is gorgeous whichever scent you pick you're gonna enjoy the scent in my opinion um, it's not irritating the scent like I said again is potent but not to the point where you know it would irritate you um, and they just work fantastically the price is also much better because this is a 500 ml uh, top and usually they cost mm, around 15 euros so that is a lot of savings not only do you get more in a tub but also you would pay less for a tub like this just fyi i lied this comes in a 300 tub as well not a 500 tub as i thought the lotion the one with the pump comes in a 500 ml uh, bottle but not this this is 300 still better value for money than the rituals one although i do like both i would only find myself or this is what i do anyway i only repurchase the soap and glory ones because they are just more cost effective and they work practically the same i also found a primer dupe which i was so excited about but i have to tell you right 
of the bat that do not even bother going with the high-end version because it is absolute rubbish. Anyway. The affordable product that I'm going to talk about is the Catrice 10 in 1 Tensational Dream Primer. This is a beautiful primer that promises 10 benefits. It promises to prime, hydrate, have an anti wrinkle effect, have a natural glow, anti pollution, anti oxidization, pore minimizing, evens out skin tone, blurs imperfection, and have a UV protection of. 15. Now I can attest to almost all of them. It is a beautiful primer that just evens out your skin to tone blurs and perfections and creates a lovely base for your foundation to go on. You will see in the demo photos or in the demo videos, they're probably somewhere on the screen right now, of how it just it has a tint so it evens out the skin tone um, in such a way that if you have perfect skin I don't think you would even need foundation only a little bit of concealer and off you go you're ready to go because of how natural it looks on the skin it has a little bit of a glow but that glow is not artificial and yeah I just enjoyed this one very very much I have to thank uh, Dramatic Mac for this recommendation because she was uh, raving about it and you know she has a point because it is an absolutely stunning product. And now let's talk about the high-end version, which, as you will see in the uh, demo videos, is absolute rubbish. I didn't feel like that about this product, but it started to peel. And unfortunately, with all of the products that I have in my collection, and especially having this and them being so comparable, I cannot afford to have a dud product in my collection but anyway what this does this is a priming glow moisturizer from elemis it is a very glowy product like um i can compare both of them and the side where this uh where i applied this primer looked a little bit more artificial like the glow isn't like a glow within sort of um illumination it just looks fake and uh yeah what I don't like about it is that it starts to peel. So you would have to be careful what you apply underneath or maybe it would be the only product that you would have to apply on your face. But then again, it's so glowy that it just doesn't look nice on the skin. So I would definitely, definitely skip out on the elements and go and get yourself the Catrice Tensational Primer because it just works 10 times better. Okay, you guys, I found concealer dupes. Uh, so the affordable uh, product comes from La Cura. So this is the Aldi House brand. Uh, this is the La Cura Take Cover Concealer. This is supposed to be a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. Now I cannot attest to that because I haven't ever tried the Tarte Shape Tape, but by the looks of it, even from the packaging, I would say, you know, it is. Uh, it has a large doe foot applicator. It does come in three shades. Unfortunately, it comes in uh, light, medium and deep. I have the light shade. Um, this one is way too light for me at the moment with the with the tan that I'm having. Uh, so I probably would have gotten away with a medium, but uh, this is not available uh, at the moment in Aldi's anymore. So uh, what this does is uh, this covers your... Uh, any dark circles, any spots that you would have with very minimal uh, product. So what I do is I apply a line here and maybe a little line here and then I blend it out with my sponge. That gives a very flawless sort of um, finish. You do have to be careful because if you apply too much, it will look heavy. So, you know, with any full coverage concealer, less is more in my opinion. Um, the texture, light, airy, but again, full coverage, so you do have to be careful. The dupe that I found, surprisingly, is my Jouer Essential High Coverage uh, Concealer. I have my one in the shade Wheat. It's just It works just fine now with the tan that I have. It is usually a little bit too dark for me, but that's fine. I can make it work with this. Also, I have to be careful not to apply too much because it will look too heavy. It will crease underneath my eyes. Same with this. Uh, but if I apply just the right amount, and I have a hair on my face. If I apply just the right amount, 
kind of same way as I did with the Lacura. Um, a stripe in my inner corner kind of going down and then a little bit a little bit of a dot here at the side of my eye works perfectly it covers what it needs to cover the consistency of this one is a little bit different because it's a little bit more whipped a little bit more heavier but when you blend it out the difference is the differences are almost um, not noticeable so what do I think you should splurge or save now it's very difficult with this one because the lacquer one is a limited edition product so you can only get them every so often in Aldi's whereas this Jouer one is there all the time so if you don't like limited edition products I would definitely go ahead with the Jouer one because it works just as well as the lacquer one but if you do like to stay on the budget and you don't mind having limited edition products in your collection then I would go ahead with the lacquer one you guys, I found a bronzer dupes. Now they're not color dupes, okay? Because the colors are completely different. But they are uh, formula dupes. So the first one, the, the affordable one, is the Maybelline City Bronzer. I have my one in the shade Medium Cool 200. And this is what it looks like. It is a beautiful, very sheer satin uh, bronzer uh, that you can use both as a contour and as a um, bronzer because of how neutral it is um, especially on my skin uh, I want to kind of build up there you go this is what it looks like it has a little bit of an olive undertone also which you know I would think for my skin probably does might not look the best but actually I have it I'm wearing it on this cheek uh, right now and it looks absolutely st stunning. I love the formula because, uh, like I said, it is sheer. You can build it up to a point where you feel comfortable or you can kind of you just dust it on your cheeks just to give a little bit of a color. It has a little bit of a sheen because it has like micro shimmers. You can barely notice it with your eye, but like if you look closely, you can. Uh, so it has a little bit of a sheen maybe oily girls will not like it I have combination skin I do get oily uh, a lot or much in my t-zone but it actually doesn't bother me that much because of how smooth and how flawless it looks uh, on the cheeks I highly recommend this one uh, I really enjoy it now the color selection is a little bit off because it only has like two shades this one and a darker one uh, so you know if if you have a deeper skin tone you're not gonna get away with um, using it because it'll probably look like just like a face powder on your skin but if you have lighter skin tone maybe medium to kind of fair light uh, I think you would uh, find this one quite divine on your skin however when I got the Clinique Powder Pop Flower Bronzer in the shade Solar Pop, I immediately thought that these two are so comparable. As you can see, shades are totally off. However, when you touch them, even though this has a little bit of a texture, when you touch them, they feel virtually the same. They have such a similar texture. They're sheer. They are buildable they are sheeny oh my god okay this is what it looks like as you can see this is a little bit more red based so it would not work as a contour for you but let me actually just check if Clinique has uh, more shades of this one because if they do you can basically use them interchangeably so let me just give me one second I'll check okay so apparently um Clinique has just one more um, shade, which is even lighter than this one. Kind of would probably look like a highlight on me. So that's a very disappointing from both brands. Um, nevertheless, the way that it looks on the cheeks, the way that it blends out, the way that it just kind of just kind of makes my cheeks look very juicy. I love it and. Oh, I think this has become one of my favorite bronzers um, that I had 
tried so far. So, would I recommend to splurge or save? Honestly, with this one, it's up to you. If you don't like to spend a lot of money on the high-end uh, product, then go with the Maybelline one because it is virtually the same product. They're so similar, except for the colors, but the texture, uh, there. I can't believe how similar they are. But if you do like to splurge and you do like to feel a little bit bougie, then I do recommend the Clinique one because it just looks beautiful on the skin. Okay, and last but not least, I found uh, a setting spray dupe. So, on the one hand, I have the Makeup Obsession Stay Extra Extra Hold Fixing Mist with Vitamins and Water Lily Extract. This smells like straight up coconuts. Straight up coconuts. And I do like the sprayer. Let me just kind of spray that for you so that you can see how fine it is. It's, it's okay. It kind of soaks, mm, I love it. It kind of soaks your skin, but not to the point where you feel moist and wet. It just kind of applies the ideal amount of uh, fixing spray on your face without it feeling uh, too much. Uh, do I find that this makes my makeup last longer? Actually, I do. And this one only costs eight euros. Um, it is a small-ish sort of, um, or this is a standard size, 100 um, mils, and you can find it in boots, so it is uh, very easily acceptable. Um, with When it said like water lily extract and vitamins, I didn't expect it to smell like coconut, so if you don't like the scent, I can already tell you, it is very potent, it can irritate or you rather than your skin, just yourself you don't, if you don't like scents. So you do have to be careful, but I do like the way that it sets my makeup and I do like how it helps to prolong my makeup. But recently I got the Huda Beauty Glow Cocoa Hydrating Mist in my Glossy Box X Huda Limited Edition uh, box and when I smelled this and when I sprayed it, I immediately said that these two are absolute dupes for each other. Even the packaging looks kind of similar, right? Kind of sleek, um, transparent, off-white-ish sort of uh, packaging. Very, very similar. Now, the packaging on this one is so much better because when I show you the actual mist itself, it's so much more fine. Look at this, just sort of, just like a mist, like an actual mist. I love it. It also smells like coconuts, but doesn't smell as as strongly as this one. So if you uh, do not like too much scents in your makeup, then I would definitely go with the Huda Beauty one. It does prolong your makeup, but it also sort of uh, helps the makeup on your skin to melt in better. It says hydrating. I don't find it super hydrating where, you know, I have combination skin. So, you know, things like that, honestly, kind of probably would make my skin more oily. But I don't find that it does. It's just a really good basic sort of setting spray. Now, what do I think? Should you go with this one or should you go with the Huda one? Honestly, for myself, I would probably stick with the Makeup Obsession one because it is so much cheaper it is so much more like easily easier easy just it's more accessible <laughs> and um yeah i don't see enough a lot of difference between the two of them but if you don't like uh too much sense on your skin then maybe the huda beauty might be the one for you for myself i will only stick with the makeup obsession one i will use the huda one but i don't think i would repurchase this one i would definitely repurchase I would definitely repurchase the makeup session one. So that actually completes today's video. I showed you five dupes, uh, five kind of splurge or save sort of option alternatives, whatever you want to call it. Now I want to hear from you if you have found any dupes, any alternatives recently. And please let me know in the comments down below because I would love to check them out myself. 
so if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give this video a like and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this uh, but yeah thank you very much and i will see you in the next one bye Mwah.